So we're talking about thyroid disease and I just want to let you know that many times when a doctor runs thyroid, they might not run all of the thyroid values that are necessary to get the whole picture. What you want to do is you want to ask them for specifically these five things. You want to ask for TSH, free T3, free T4, reverse T3, and then those antibodies, thyroid peroxidase antibodies or TPO and TG or thyroglobulin antibodies, okay? So all those give you the lowdown on the thyroid function. So when you're reading results, you wanna look for the optimal ranges, not just the normal ranges. The normal ranges are actually very broad and you could be really sick and tired if you just stay within those ranges. Whereas if you can treat yourself to be in the optimal range, you're much better off. For example, the TSH, we want below two or even below 1.5. Yet the range of the normal goes all the way up to 4.5. The free T3, and we want it at the higher end, like above three for sure, even above 3.5 is good. And for the T4, the free T4, you want it above 1.2 at a minimum. Reverse T3 tells me a lot. Reverse T3 is an inactive form of the active thyroid hormone. And if that is high, then I know that you are under a tremendous amount of stress. And the adrenal gland, and which produces cortisol, our stress hormone, is intimately involved in this whole picture of thyroid. So we want to get the whole picture. We want to know if you have thyroid antibodies, this Hashimoto's condition or not.